Their names read like a who's who of the world's elite. Heads of state and officials at soccer's governing body FIFA, netted in a massive leak of alleged shell companies in the tropical tax haven of Panama. 11.5 million files on 214,000 companies from the archives of the law firm Mossack Fonseca were obtained by a German newspaper. At 2.6 terabytes of information, the leak made public by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists is more than 1,500 times larger than WikiLeaks in 2010. Among the documents, the names of 12 current or former leaders, as well as 128 other politicians, Associate Kim Vladimir Putin is said to have funneled $2 billion through banks and offshore firms, allegations his aide describes as, quote, fibs. Argentina's new president, Mauricio Macri, who denies the suggestion that he owned an undeclared stake in a Bahamas-based firm. And Iceland's prime minister, Sigmundur Gunnlaugsson, under fire for failing to disclose ties to an offshore company which was run by his wife. When pressed on the matter, he stormed out of this interview with Swedish TV. With so many allegations, some governments say that they will now investigate, with the UK, France, Australia and Mexico looking at tax evasion. I think it's hugely significant. I think it's going to have impact for, for months and, and possibly years to come. Uh, and hopefully it will, it will cause uh, governments, particularly the United States and the UK, to sort of reassess how they deal with these uh, offshore secrecy zones. Also in the spotlight, FIFA dismissing allegations of links between a member of its independent ethics committee and three men already indicted on corruption charges by U.S. authorities. Setting up an offshore firm is relatively easy and entirely legal. There are some legitimate reasons for doing so, especially in the case of international businesses and families that operate across many different tax jurisdictions. But it's the secret nature of these shell companies that has raised concerns about tax evasion and other criminal activities. Now, in a statement, the law firm Mossack Fonseca, whose documents were posted, said, we have formed more than 240,000 companies, the vast majority for legitimate purposes. Of course, it goes on to say there are some that end up being used for illegitimate activities, but that is not our responsibility. With journalists still poring over mountains of data, there may be more revelations to follow. Nina Dos Santos, CNN Money, London.